Greg Russell, the one, the only. Thanks for being back with us. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you, you as got always. Popcorn rain, raining on your head on National I, Popcorn Day. I know. I love this. I mean, popcorn movies. How appropriate. All right, a new thriller from <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan. You remember he directed this little movie almost 20 years ago called The Sixth Sense. Ah, uh, yes. And, and then after that, he kind of fell on hard times. Mm -hmm. This one's called Split, starring. James McAvoy, mm -hmm. and he plays a character in this movie who has 23 separate personalities. So I can't even tell you he plays Bob or Joe or whoever. He plays everyone. And I, as I read, the personalities can impersonate each other, so there's layers to that. Too. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very strange, you know. I think we've got a clip of it, too. All right, I'm in. My name's Hedwig. I have red socks. He's on the move. What? <laughs> He's on the move. <laughs> Someone's coming for you. And you're not gonna like it. You guys oh wow! He, he does an excellent job, honestly, playing that part because when he does the individual characters, you believe that he is at one point Jason, another point Greg, another point Chuck, Tati, you know, like that. And uh, what happens is at the beginning of the movie, he winds up kidnapping these three girls who are coming from a birthday party. So it's all subterranean. They're like being held captive right. by a guy who's got multiple personalities, and then things spiral from there. Yes, they do, and. Uh, it has a lot of M. Night's, you know, traits when you go in to see the movie. Plus, I have to put this out, too. You know how a lot of times, whether you like a movie or don't like a movie, as soon as the closing credits come on, people, sometimes bolt. Well, he took a page out of the Marvel movies. There's something really special in the closing credits that you won't want to well, miss. I'm excited to see it because of his movie, The Visit, about the grandparents yeah. that has the twist. It was a really tight-knit shocker. Right. I can't wait to see this. All right, Michael Keaton stars in The Founder mm -hmm. as Ray Kroc. This trailer blew me away about how Ray Kroc built McDonald's basically took it from these yeah. other guys and <laughs> built it into something else. Right. Uh, we, we watched this over the weekend, and it is. It brings up an interesting conversation. You know, did Ray Kroc steal McDonald's from the brothers, or was it just a deal that the brothers just couldn't see further than their front door, and he just had all these ideas and ran with it? Because he did get in touch with them and all the time tell them what was going on. Here we go. McDonald's just found a way to save you, me, and all our owner operators literally hundreds of dollars a year in electricity. And what costs. would that be? Two words powdered milkshake. I'm telling you, I came across a remarkable product called Instamix. Like I say, it's a powdered milkshake. It's a fraction of the cost of ice cream and requires no refrigeration. Ray. I'm telling you, I tried it myself. It tastes just like the real thing. It's delicious. It comes in chocolate, comes in vanilla. Me, I'm a vanilla man. Ray, we have no interest in a milkshake that contains no milk. Why don't we add sawdust to the hamburgers while we're at it? Frozen french fries. You don't want to save a bundle. Not like that. We're talking about the same great taste. Same great taste while boosting the bottom line. It's called a milkshake, Ray. Real milk, now and forever. <laughs> I am a sucker for any kind of movie like this that's mm -hmm. like that Greg Kinnear movie, Flash of Genius oh, with yeah. the intermittent windshield wipers. So right. good, or you can't say it? I, I can say that, yeah, it is a good movie. Okay. We, we, we did, we really enjoyed it. Finally, Xander Cage is back, and if you don't know who that <laughs> is, you're probably over a certain age. It's Triple X, Vin Diesel. It's like his James Bond persona. Yeah. It's, it's his character, the one that he started, and it's amazing to believe he hasn't done it for 15 years. But he's back now, Xander Cage. He's a guy who had put himself into a self-imposed exile, but the government needs him. Here's why. Get on your knees! You have three seconds to comply! One. Three. If you wanted me back, you could have just asked me. Okay, so I'll just cut to the chase. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be an Oscar contender, is it worth saying? Is, is, is it a popcorn movie? Yeah, popcorn? It's a popcorn movie, and it's so amazing. It's one of those mid-level um, uh, films, you know, where we've had so many franchise films. And they're starting out this year. I mean, we had Underworld two weeks ago. We've got this one this week. And uh, then we've got... Oh, my goodness. Swag, to, swag give to give away as well. Resident Evil next week. But yes, our swag for this week for Xander Cage, we have got hats, also a thermal t-shirt and a regular t-shirt, 
plus some movie passes for the run of the movie. And then remember last week, you got all excited when I mentioned monster trucks? Yeah, because there's a whole backstory. Well, they, <laughs> they love that. So we've got some more monster trucks here to give away. We've got a remote control truck. We've got one called Big Stompin', truck, uh, jump trucks, mega wheels, also run of uh, uh, show passes for this one. Also got to tell you that these trucks are from Spin Master, and they were given to us by our friends at Toys R Us, which is the only place where you can get these. The monster uh, truck toys. toys. That's right. And the pr premise here is that the truck actually has a monster inside of it with a kid behind the wheel. So, right. so it how, do you own mind. how do you win this swag? I'm glad you asked me that. All you have to do is go to our Live in the D <laughs> Facebook page and check things out for all the rules and regulations. That's it. At four, the number four, live in the D. Uh, so real quick, the yeah. Shyamalan movie. We didn't ask you whether it was worth seeing. It, it's one of those, like we said, it's got this great twist, and I want to see what people think about it at the all end. Right. All right, we'll leave it at that. Greg, good to see you as always. It's always a pleasure. All right, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck's going to be first in line to be scared by M Night. Live in.